let's continue our math adventure, but let's take it up a notch. Today we're going to work on solving equations with like terms in parentheses. Now remember, our variables and our constants look very different from each other. Our variables, we call them our cows. Our constants, we call them our chickens. And our job is to put all our cows together in one pen and all our chickens together in another pen. Now, here is our problem for today and it contains everything that we're gonna need to learn about today's lesson. So when we first look at this, e at this equation, it looks difficult, but we notice immediately we have a set of parentheses. And we know whenever we have a set of parentheses, we pause and we look at that. And if it looks like it's distributive property, then we need to make sure we do that first. That is our order of operations. So I look here, I see a number on the outside with nothing in between the number and the parentheses. And I see an addition sign on the inside. It perfectly fits distributive property. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna actually solve that piece first. And we know that this means there's four groups of x plus one. So I'm first gonna take my four, multiply it by my first term, bring that down that addition sign, and I'm gonna do my four times my second term. And when I actually solve that, I get four x's, those are like my cows, and I get four, those are like my chickens. Now I still have the rest of the equation to solve. So I'm just gonna rewrite the rest of that equation. And now I'm ready for my next step. I see a subtraction sign. And I know it's hard for lots of people to do the subtraction with integers. So I'm gonna use my little trick of changing my subtraction sign to plus the opposite. Because most people like adding better than subtracting with integers. So I'm just gonna bring that subtraction down, change it to a, a plus. But remember, whatever directly follows that subtraction sign, we have to take the opposite. So I'm gonna cover up that subtraction, and I see that was a positive 3x. I'm gonna then take it to its opposite, which is a negative 3x. Now nothing else changes in the entire equation, so I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna rewrite exactly the rest of the equation. Now, I think I'm ready to go. And I look at this like there's chaos in the barnyard because I see a group of cows here, a group of chickens, a group of cows, a group of cows, and a group of chickens. And I know I want all my cows together and I want all my chickens together. So my first job is I want to go grab those cows. So I take a look and I want to pull this group of cows together with this group of cows together with this group of cows. Now notice I have different colors here. So I know that some of my cows are positive and some of my cows are negative. And I know that positive and negative cows cancel each other out. So when I pull this together, I have six positives, which we will say are blacks. I have three negatives, which we will say are reds. And I have four positive, which we will say are blacks. Well, my blacks and my blacks can go together and I can see I have 10 of those positives. But I have nothing to put together with those reds, so I'm just gonna leave that as plus a negative three X. Now I know that these three reds are gonna cancel out three of those blacks to make a zero pair. So when I pull those down together, I know in the end that I have a positive seven X or thinking of putting all my cows in that one pen. Now my chickens are also loose and I know that my chickens look very different than my cows. So my chickens, I need to pull together as well. Now I look at this and I see that's a positive seven, so that's gotta be black. And I see that's a positive four, that's gotta be black. So all I have are those positive constants that I'm pulling together. So when I do seven plus four, I pull that down and I see 11. Now notice, these are my chickens, these are my cows. I don't pull them together because they don't look the same. And I know that the value of this side has to be 25 because the value of this side is also 25. My mission, I gotta figure out what X is. 
So I'm going to use inverse operations to actually solve this equation. So the inverse of addition is subtraction. And whatever I do on one side, I do on the other. If I don't, I'm out of balance. When I'm finished with that, I get 7x equals 14. Now, I don't want to know what 7x is. I want to know what a single x is. So the inverse operation of multiplication is division. But I just went out of balance. So whatever I do on one side, I need to do on the other in order to pull me back into balance. So I'm going to divide by 7 on that side. These cancel out, I'm left with just x. And 14 divided by 7 is 2. I now know what my mission was. It was to find out what x is. So now it's up to you.